Hello guys, please subscribe to the eyes of Owen. <laughs> Owen, I love you too much. Huh? I love you long time. You will forget me. Right, okay, time for another update of what I got up to last night. And last night I had a really good night. It was Saturday night. I went to Soy LK Metro. And then I went to Walking Street. Walking Street was busy, really busy. And um, just to build attention, let's just say that last night there was a bit of a surprise ending. But we'll leave it there for now. We'll get to that later. So right now I'm just walking down Soy Diana. And I'm actually on my way to meet a friend for breakfast. It's about 10.30 I think. And I'm meeting my friend for breakfast. He recommends there's a really good place that does a full English on Soy 13. So that's where I'm heading now. And while I'm walking there, I thought I'd give you an update on last night. So the night started. Where did it start? We had a quick drink at a bar called Olri LK Bar, just um, in the LK Metro area. And I um, ended up buying a drink for a girl called Meow, as in the noise the cats make. And um, yeah, she was a nice girl. She's the second Meow I bought a lady drink for so far on this holiday. I think the cats, they just sniffed me out. Anyway, we had a quick drink there. Then we went to Sugar Sugar. And Sam, he actually lives in Patea. He got pounced on by a really pretty girl he was, he's obviously bought a drink for before. They got, um, they got a drink. And I saw um, a girl, girl walk past. And with the help of the girl that Sam was sat with, I managed to get her to sit next to me. Hallelujah, I, I managed to pick the, pick the right girl. And she was a lovely girl. Her name was Nan. And I'm, she's a lovely girl. And I'm not just saying that because she laughed at all my jokes as well. But yeah, she's a really nice girl. A lot of fun. Bought her a drink and she told me she used to work in airport as well. Airport was, um, I remember my last trip to Thailand before this, airport was one of my favourite bars. Really um, nice atmosphere in there, lots of girls. Really enjoyed it there. Then we went to Crystal Club. Crystal Club is um, where I went the first night. Met a lovely girl there. Saw her again. Her name was Dan. And I bought her a couple of um, a couple of lady drinks. She's been sending me some messages on um, online. So I showed my face, bought her a few lady drinks. Now there's a beer bar complex here. It's all empty at the moment. But Thomas Beer Bar. Me, um, me and my friends met there one night, I can remember. So it's pretty empty now. This time of day, they, they, they kind of clean and they start to get the place ready for the night's entertainment. But you've got look, in love beer bar. You can see it's pretty empty at the moment. You often see girls here in the evening. Okay, so we, we visited Crystal Club and Sugar Sugar in the LK metro area. And then we hopped onto the back of a motorbike taxi and took a motorbike to Walking Street, cost 60 bars. Now I'm gonna to have to be very careful there. For some reason, this stretch of Soy Diana, there's always lots of sleeping dogs. Look at these, look at them. Just having to well, that one's just woken up. I think I just woke that one up. Just have to be careful there. I didn't trip over a dog. Right, okay. So yeah, we went to Walking Street. And I was really keen to see what it was like. Got dropped off underneath that big sign, the big Walking Street sign. And yeah, it was... Um, a lot of the bars obviously still closed. Particularly toward the, the end towards the sign. There were lots of bars closed. Normally you go there and it's just so noisy and there's girls everywhere you look and um, there's a blaze of neon and all the signs of the, the different bars. But last night, it was um, obviously it was a bit quieter. But the bars I did go into actually were very busy. 
I've just turned onto Soy Second Road, it's called Second Road this one. There's a massage place on the left just coming up here. I thought I'd point the camera away from them because I don't think they want to be on, on film. Yeah, so the first bar we went into was called Skyfall, which had the James Bond theme. So obviously I did my best James Bond impression when I, um, when I walked in. But it was a bit of a shame really, because I walked in. I'm just, I'm just wondering whether I should cross here, but do you know what? I'm gonna go further up. I'm gonna go further up because once again, I forgot to put suntan lotion on. So the shade is my friend at the moment. So yeah, I went to um, Skyfall and as soon as I sat down, two girls quickly went sat either side of me. And I hate it when go-go bars do that because, you know, you're, you're the customer, you want to make the choice who you, who you have a drink with. Anyway, the girl is sat next to me. I, I did buy a lady drink for her, she was a nice girl. Just stop there, this, this here, this is Leck Hotel. And Leck Hotel, it's actually the, where I used to stay. When I came to Patera, I used to stay there. Because it's kind of in the middle of the action. It's kind of close to LK Metro. It's kind of walking distance, walking street. And it's, um, yeah, quite central. But my, my friends told me, no, you've got to stay in the LK Metro area. And I, I'm really glad I am. I think, it, I think it's a, the best area to stay when visiting Pattaya, in my opinion. So after Skyfall, we went to Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit was busy inside. It's quite a big bar, lots and lots of girls. And again, as soon as I got in there, two girls sat next to me. In fact, one of them was a very, very young girl, practically got pushed into my lap by, the, by a, a, a waitress. I didn't really like how it happened, really. And the girl, and the girl hardly spoke a word of English. I mean, literally, you almost needed a translation app to get what her name was. So, yeah. And she was a nice girl, but I didn't like the way how, um, how she was kind of almost pushed at me. And she, she was very smiley and nice, but very, very timid. And I didn't like that at all. I did too much pressure for lady drinks. Bit of a recurring theme, really. So I, I didn't buy her a lady drink. But instead, I'm going to cross there now. I didn't buy her a lady drink. I just step up my pace as the car's approaching very quickly. Right then, I think this is Soy 13.1. I've been told that I'm meeting at Soy 13, but I'm a bit early, so I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk down here. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, so, um, so I didn't buy her a lady drink. Instead, I gave her a 100 baht tip. I think the girls get 50 baht each lady drink they get. So me giving the girl a 100 baht tip, just my way of sort of saying, you know, thanks to the girl, but no thanks to the bar. I just it didn't really like the way that she was kind of pushed at me almost. So anyway, I had a mission last night. My friend, Maka, from back home, he asked me if I'd go to Windmill Bar. He follows a lot of the bars on Facebook. And one of the bars he follows is Windmill Bar, and he saw a photo pop up on their fees. And there was a girl he really liked. So anyway, I was given this mission by Macca. Could I go to Windmill Bar, find the girl that he saw in the photo, and somehow get her contact details? And I think the chances of that actually happening were pretty slim. A lot of these, a lot of these bars, they use old photos, Photos are out of date, there's a high turnaround of girls. I didn't fancy my chances, but you know, I always like a mission, it's always good fun. So, went into Windmill, and Windmill was really busy. We could only get seats next to the stage. Every other seat around the stage was, was, was taken. It's really, really busy. Lots of customers with girls. Girls aren't shy, that's another way of word, isn't it? The girls aren't shy in there. Anyway, I, um, I managed to 
I looked around, couldn't see the girl at Macalite. So I asked um, if, I asked the waitress to see, recognise her. And she says, ah, yes, yes, I know, I know her, I know her. She's not in today. Which quite often can be Thai speak that she's um, maybe already with somebody. Maybe she was off work, maybe it was a day off, who knows. But yeah, so mission unsuccessful. So Sam then took us to our second bar of the night, it's called Fahrenheit. I'm pointing upwards up, so I don't want to shoot straight into the bar. And we went in there and it's massive inside. And there were so many girls. Oh, there must have been, I reckon there must have been about, I don't know, 40, 50 girls, loads of girls. And some absolute rockets. Some really, really pretty girls. And, um, but yeah, I got, got shown to a seat. Before even I had a chance to order a drink, two girls practically fell into my lap. The girl sat next to me, didn't speak any English. I don't think I've ever met a girl who spoke as little English. She had to have a, a translation for me to ask um, what her name was. Another bar that um, lots and lots of girls in there. And if I was given my own chance to pick a girl, then, you know, I, who knows what might have happened. But, but a lot, a lot of pretty girls in there. We had a drink in there and we're about to move on. I think the next bar we're going to go to is going to be windmill this is this is the one that the mission is all about so i'm going to windmill next and let's see if we can find this girl for maca right we're here this is the famed windmill club let's go inside and see if we can find maca's girl This is what remains of Simon's Bar Complex, which used to be a massive complex of beer bars, but now it's just a, a bar here, I think selling cocktails. Anyway, I've just come out of the first bar on Walking Street, and it was called Skyfall. A bit of a James Bond theme, so I did my best James Bond impression when I walked in. And, um, and it was busy, lots of girls in there. Um, and some really pretty girls, really pretty girls. But they did something that I hate. And it happens quite a lot, I've noticed, in go-go bars. You go in, you sit down, and before you have a chance to even sit down, really, two girls sit right next to you. So, um, which is a bit of a shame, really, because if you get to choose your girl, then, well, who knows what might happen. Far more likely to, to go well, isn't it? But anyway, as it turned out, the girl who sat next to me was, uh, was a nice girl. I bought her a drink. She had glasses, but she was, she was quite nice. She's a nice girl. I enjoyed chatting with her. But um, yeah, I don't like when go-go bars do that. I prefer it when you can sit down, have a bit of a look around, and pick your own girl. And that's what happens when when it is a go-go bar. When the girls are on stage, you can pick your own girl. But at the moment, now they're operating as beer bars. It's really difficult to pick the girl that you want. You end up getting thrown to a seat and get pounced upon. And that's what happened in Skyfall. But still, I had a good drink in there. I reckon it'd be a really good bar, actually, when um, when it's back to being a go-go bar. But anyway, this is um, Simon's Bar Complex. Just looking past the um, the old tucks up there, it's um, just emptiness. Let's see if I can walk in. Look at that, it's empty. That would have been, this time of night, that would have been all pink lights, girls dancing around the poles. Would have been very, very busy. But now, pretty quiet. Anyway, I've been to Skyfall. Let's um, see where I go next. Look, there's um, a few bars here. Look, this is Geisha Club. Soyamoto. I think we're on. This is Soy 13.1. I've never actually been out for a night out on there, but there's, I mean, everywhere you go in Pattaya, there's lots of bars, aren't there? George and Dragon on the left there. It's a very English name for a, a pub. The Rabbit Hole. Oh, I just thought there's a really pretty girl in the rabbit hole, but look, it's a shop dummy. Smile Thai massage. I bet you come out with a smile when you go there. It's a nice girl waving at me from Smile Massage. Somebody come. <laughs> Trying to get me to have an oil massage. Oh, and look, this is, this is quite convenient. 
Love Time Inn Hotel. That sounds a nice place to stay. There's a definite um, Japanese theme around here. Look at this place here. Very nice. I just like walking around these streets and seeing new places. There's another massage to my left, another massage place to my right. I was told though she's back in tomorrow. Sorry, Cap. I was told she's back in tomorrow though. Right then, this is um, Soy 13. This is where I've been told to meet meet my friend Sam, but at the top end, so I've got to get I've got to walk all the way back up now. Things I do for you guys in these walkabouts. Joking aside, it's um, I'd love to be able to do video for you at night time and show you the bars and the the nightlife and the problem is, you know, the, the, the girls don't like to be filmed, the customers certainly don't like to be filmed. Probably a lot of them are here in Batea without, without people at home knowing. So yeah, they, they don't want to be filmed. So it's very, very difficult to get nighttime footage. So as a result, I often have to give, give you a bit of a recap during the day doing these walkthroughs. So I hope you appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm here walking around, getting sunburned, all for your entertainment for Owen's channel. I hope Owen buys me a few beers after this, by the way. There's a couple of guys leaving this um, hotel. That's a nice shirt, isn't it? I think that's the best shirt I've seen in um, Batea so far. Okay, so the mission in Windmill was unsuccessful. What was interesting, by the way, is some of the bars on Walking Street, they test you outside. It's very, very quick. They just swab you up the nose very, very quickly. They literally took less than a minute. Quite efficient, quite quick. As a matter of interest, I, 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 my test was negative. I had actually taken a, a, a rapid test that I bought from a 7-Eleven in my room beforehand to make sure it was negative. Ah, now this is the place that we're going, the Sportsman. I remember the name now. So anyway, they, um, I asked, as a matter of interest, I asked... I asked how many people have tested positive. And he showed me the list, and there weren't very many. I think there's one yesterday, then none the day before that, none the day before that, one the day before that. Interesting. Anyway, we ended up the night in Pinup, and it was ram jam packed. Really, really busy. So many girls. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was I reckon there must have been about 70 or 80 girls in there. And I'll tell you what, there was some unbelievable talent in there. Here's Sam now. Anyway, went back to Tree Town and would you believe it, it was all closing down and I ended up taking a freelance from Uganda. Not how I expected the night to end, but a good night nevertheless. Anyway, I'm going to sign off there because here, here, here is my breakfast date. Sam, we're, we're, going for an English, we're going for English breakfast at the Sportsman's. Let's, let's go. Why you want to make me real guys? I'm going to say what real